Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Discmakers. I have to admit something. The topic I chose for today's video makes me a little nervous. Well, not so much the topic, but how you might react to it. You see, I fear that most artists who will watch this video will think it doesn't apply to them, even though chances are pretty good that it does. And I worry that some artists might even be mad or insulted by what I have to say. But what the heck? You know I always call it like I see it, so I'm going ahead with the topic because I think it's an important one. In fact, it's a big reason for why most artists don't make it. The topic I'm discussing today is what, in my opinion, is the number one mistake that artists make. Now, if you had to come up with an answer to that question, what would you say is the number one mistake artists make? Think about it. I'd love to know your thoughts. After you're done watching this video, please drop a note in the comments with what you think the number one reason is. So here is what I think is the number one mistake artists make. The number one mistake that artists make is thinking that they're great. Or to expand it a bit, it's thinking that they are great and or that their music is great. Now, I've heard a lot of music, both recorded and live, in the multiple decades since I became obsessed with music as a teen. Some artists were just plain bad. Many were mediocre, quite a few were good, and very few were actually great. But I hear it from artists all the time, and maybe because they hear it from their fans. My music is great. My songs are great. My record is great. But is it, though? Because at the same time, I hear, well, my music is great, but I'm not getting streams. I'm not selling product. I'm not getting fans to my shows. Now, it could be that your music is indeed great, and you just haven't figured out how to break through. But for most artists, that's not it. Let's just look at this topic dispassionately based on the percentages. You know, on a scale of truly talentless and awful on the one side to great, what percentage of artists could possibly be great? I'd say it's certainly less than 10%, probably no more than 5%. Yes, there are many who are good and a bunch who are very good, but let's say generously that 5% of all artists are actually great. That means, statistically, that 19 out of every 20 artists are not great. But do you think that 19 out of every 20 artists think they or their music are not great? No way. Now, in and of itself, thinking that you're great and not being great, that's not even a problem. The problem is what thinking you're great tends to do to your mindset because it closes that mindset. Now, before I address that, let me flip this on its head for a minute. If I'm an artist and I realize I'm far from great and I have a lot of work to do to become great, what does that lead to? It leads to the realization that I need to learn a lot more about how to become great. Like, I need to do more listening to artists who are great and work with songwriters and other talent that is great. It leads to a mindset that I have a lot of work to do to become great. A lot of solo practice on my instrument, band practice, songwriting, rehearsals for live performances, and on and on. It means I realize I may have to put my music ahead of other priorities. For example, I may have to go live on the road for months on end to become great. It means I listen to critiques of my music and my performances, that I have an open mind to change and improve, even that I realize I've got to work on things that are not directly music related, like marketing and building a fan base. In other words, realizing I'm far from great gives me a growth mindset. I'll do what I need to to get better. Now let's look at the artist who thinks they're great. What does that mindset do for the artist? Well, for starters, it makes them think that they don't need to work, that they don't need to listen to others, that the rules don't apply to them, that what they do is already good enough to make it, but it's just the system that's stacked against them. I mean, in their mind, they're great. Their lack of success is other people's fault, not theirs. This mindset fosters a total lack of accountability. You know, I'm a music fan. 
And by no means am I or was I ever a hit songwriter or an A&R rep, so I try not to opine about the quality of an artist's music, especially to them. However, because of my job at Disc Makers, over the years plenty of artists have asked me for feedback on their music. Usually I decline because, as I said, that's not my expertise. But occasionally, in a moment of weakness, I'll agree to listen to an artist's song. And more often than not, it'll go like this. I'll say something like, well, the chorus is catchy and the recording quality is good because I always want to say something positive. But generally, you don't want a 90 second intro before you launch into the first verse. And invariably, they'll respond something like, yeah, well, that's if you write pop music. But my metal fans love this intro. Okay, but not a problem. If you always know better, why ask for feedback? And the interesting thing is that when you're not great and don't want to listen to feedback and don't think you need to work hard, well, my friend, that's a recipe for not making it in music. And that may be a bummer to hear, and believe me, you look like a nice person. I'm not trying to bum you out. I'm trying to motivate you, as a matter of fact. If you realize that, like 95% of all artists, you're not great yet, Ideally, that should give you that growth mentality. It should make you want to work harder and network more and practice more and listen to hit artists, even gasp, from other genres that you don't even play. It should make you aspire to do better, to be better, to get better. And that, my friend, is guaranteed to pay off. The desire to improve, combined with the commitment to do what it takes to get better, will lead you to be better. Can it make you great? I can't guarantee that. But I can guarantee this. The harder you try, the closer you'll get. That's it for today. I hope you found it helpful. See you next time.